I want to go to the couple that went there to Aruba that were snorkeling and took the photo. Joining us exclusively out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Patty and John Muldowney. First to you, Patty. You took the photo, right? Yes, I did. Tell me what happened. What led you there? Well, we went on a, sm a snorkeling trip, and uh, they stopped right at that area. So we all jumped off, and we went snorkeling. So a boat actually and took I had you out to the area, Miss Muldowney? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so what, I, what I'm getting at is this wasn't just off the shore where you walked out and then went face down in the water snorkeling. A, a pleasure boat took you out mm -hmm. to the area, then you jumped off the boat. Yes, that's right. Okay, so you were a little that's bit right. further out. Okay, then what happened, Miss Muldowney? Uh, then I got, I had my camera and, and I started to snap pictures of all the fish. Uh, I, that was the main reason why I was out there to snap some, some, uh, colorful fish. And so I was out there and then, uh, after it was, you know, it, then I came up onto the, the boat. It was a disposable camera that I was using. So at that time you didn't realize really what you thought, what you had captured on film. That's correct. Was your That's husband correct. John with you? Uh, he was actually on the boat. Uh, two friends of ours, they were the ones that were snorkeling with us. It, there was a group, but my husband was actually on, on the boat. He did not go snorkeling. Had you ever snorkeled before? Uh, years and years ago. Did anyone, was anyone actually diving and going down to the ocean floor? No. Okay. No. To John Muldowney, what do you recall when you first took a really hard look at this photo? How did that come about? When I looked at that photo, I said, by darn, that certainly does look like a skeleton. But I start showing it around to different people, getting comments. What do you think? I, I just tell them to look at this picture. What do you see? And, of course, there's that little snake that Pat was taking on the right side of the picture. And then they'd look and say, oh, my God, yes. That's, that looks like a, a, a skeleton, a human body. So I did show that to an awful lot of people, even my doctor. And they all agreed that that is a corpse. You can see the skull. You can see where the eye sockets were. You can see where the chin was. The arms, it's laying flat on its back. And its arms are cradled around. You can almost see fingers. And then on the one sleeve, it looks like some kind of maybe clothing that's deteriorating. It's, you know, you couldn't tell if it was a, 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 a garment or not. But, like I say, we, <laughs> we sure showed it to a lot of people, and I wouldn't tell them. I, I'd ask them, what do you see when you look at that picture? And when the police saw it, they called the FBI. And the FBI transferred me to Quantico, Virginia, and I told them the story. They've put me in, in with Philadelphia, with the FBI in Philly. They told me to send them the picture, the story, and send it to their violent crimes department. And I did. I sent it registered mail. So I knew when they got it and who signed for it and, did, and then didn't hear anything for a month.